Sex for Joanne and Jonathan has become a predictable physical sensation instead of an exciting intimate connection. Let's see if we can help them reach new orgasmic heights while revitalizing their relationship with a fresh burst of energy. So how are things for you physically? Yeah, sometimes it kind of feels like a fast food sex, you know? <laughs> It would be, be interesting to have something more gourmet. Is there something that distracts you during sex? Is there something that keeps you from connecting? Well, sometimes I'm thinking about deadlines or things that I have to get done. You're uh, always thinking about something else. No, not always, is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like, okay, um, you put this thing off, whatever it happens to be, and it's more important than I am at the time. Hi, I'm here. Really, kind of wanting to want to be a little bit more intimate with you. And What's happening inside you? He's approaching you. Mm -hmm. He's wanting to connect with you. You don't feel like doing it. Sometimes yeah. it's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. You don't well, feel like doing it. I find it hard to tell you that I may mm -hmm. not be in the mood. Why is that? I get grumpy sometimes. Yeah. It's like okay, I'm in the mood. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Is there any other stuff that hinders you from going where you want to go? There are things that I would like to do that she's not necessarily all that that interested in I mean, like what? oral oral sex hmm. i know that john would want me to be able to be more receptive to being pleasured orally mm -hmm. you know and uh i'm, I'm definitely psycho psychologically all for it i don't know i just find that physically that can work and I, I like that sensation it's different than the sensation of the tongue Joanne and Jonathan are just going through the motions and their fast food quickies are not giving Joanne the opportunity to become aroused. I've got to remind them to use the best their bodies have to offer. It's time for a little homework assignment. I have an exercise that I want you to do for the next nine days. Now, since when you become excited, Joanne, what happens is the outer third of the vagina becomes extremely engorged and very, very sensitive and the upper two-thirds kind of balloons out and it's not as sensitive. Now when we do the traditional way, pound, 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 you're really pounding in an area where it's not terribly sensitive. So the first night, you are going to do nine shallow thrusts, just so that the tip where the head is just kind of goes like that. Barely go in a couple of inches, just about the same height as the head of your penis. The second night, you will do eight shallow thrusts, two deep thrusts, and then seven, and three, and, and so on and so forth, and you'll take it right to the point where the final night you are entitled to going fast and furious. And each night, in addition, I want you to discover a new part that you are playing with while you do your shallow deep thrusting. All right. All set? Mm -hmm. Definitely all for it. Good. <laughs> Okay, it's been two weeks. Through the homework and the workshops, Joanne and Jonathan have learned to appreciate the wonders of their own and each other's bodies. Let's see if things have heated up on the home front. So I left you with some homework. You were supposed to try nine shallow thrusts, one deep, and then keep changing eight and two and so on and so forth. How did that work out for you? And I think doing that really made us a lot more aware of what we were doing. It was um, brought us to a higher level of consciousness about it because we're actually thinking about about our movements. It let you let down your guard a little bit and really enjoy and ride the wave and not say, oh, okay, I'm done. One of the mm -hmm. things you had requested was to build intensity into yes. it so it doesn't just feel like same old, same old. How much harder? Let's see. Can we quantify it? Hotter than the neighbors <laughs> would care it to be. Probably. You tell. You tell. So, Joanne, tell me, how is oral sex for you now? It's great. Uh, just being able to relax and, and just go with the sensations and, you know, just try to learn to enjoy that as much as I enjoy his hand techniques. <laughs> so <laughs> where fun. do you go from here? What are your future plans? More exploring, yeah. I, I think, is the thing. It's just exploring what feels good and I think the one big thing that that we've found through this is that we've allowed ourselves to talk to each other about what's feeling good well Joanne and Jonathan certainly seem to be having more fun than ever sexually and otherwise when was the last time you tried to vary your routines and discover new things about your body how about tonight see you next time on between the sheets